Welcome back, you magical being. I've missed you. How have you been? Here's some smoke just for you. Hope the colder and darker days have been treating you nicely, my dear. And speaking of colder and darker, it's time to grab yourself your favorite fluffy blanket, maybe some tea, because we're gonna have ourselves a new shape-shifting Sunday, or whatever day of the week it is. Are we gonna be a bird? Are we gonna be a plane? No, we are gonna be... Wilbert. But before we start, let's become an egg with ears again. If this is not sex appeal, I don't know what is. While we're talking, let me do the base real quick so that that's out of the way. Am I the only one who has to fight an intense urge to become full on goth like every few months? Like, don't get me wrong, I love color. And there's so many different fashion styles I adore, I could never choose just one. But then one day, I wake up and... <laughs> If I ever see one of those revolting, repellent and repulsive shades again, I am going to... It happened more than once that I almost threw out everything colorful in my closet, which would have instantly been regretted. But I mean, what can you do? Intrusive thoughts are just too strong, I guess. Ah, <sighs> to finally be home after a long day of work. What is that? No colors allowed. No colors allowed. Excuse me? No colors allowed. No colors allowed. Why are you in my house no with? My sock. No colors allowed. Okay, no could you please allowed. just put them down and no leave? No colors allowed. Wait, 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 no, no, no. Huh? Please. Oh. 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 Master has presented Dobby with clothes. Dobby is free. Okay, but back to the point. There he is. Maybe you guessed it, or you can just read and read the title. Today we're going to shapeshift into a goth. Now, goth is a very vague description since there are a flat ton of subcultures and types of it. Since it's 2022 by now, I hope you're all over the stereotype of Ew, goths are all creepy, depressed people who only wear black and worship Satan. Just, you know, those are not goths but the high society of Hollywood who drink blood of babies to stay young and pretty. Goth itself is just a subculture that started music based back in the late 1970s and has since then evolved into many different aesthetics and I guess lifestyles. Mostly channeling darker elements or subjects though. And which of these variety of styles will we be channeling today? Romantic goth. I mean, look at it. I need to live my I'm an old ghost or a vampire and live in a pretty little castle and only talk to animals fantasy. Romantic goth is a goth set influenced by the fashion of the romantic era as well as gothic literature and modern goth styles. It embraces the dark LARP influenced fashion. Key visuals for example are red wine. That is definitely wine. Ravens, bones, dead roses, lacy flowy things, <laughs> nighttime, and gardens. Another thing to note is that it's mostly not all black. As far as I've seen, there's some jewel tones in there, like dark red, dark purple, dark green, dark blue, something like that. Of course, still mostly black, but a few pops of color. So our makeup will be resembling that. Mostly black, but with some pops of red. And talking of pops of red, blush. Not gonna lie, I am not the best at telling all the different goth subcultures apart, fashion-wise at least. Like, what's the difference between this and this? Please tell me if you know. Of course I will still try my best to match this aesthetic, but forgive me if I'm not that accurate. Or educate me on what I did wrong. Now before we move on to the eyes, there of course is one very noticeable feature missing. The eyebrows. I shaved them some time ago and they're regrowing right now. As you can probably tell, look at these small hairs. This regrowing face is quite interesting, that's for sure. <laughs> Feels kind of funny, I can tell you that. Looking at different kinds of goth makeup, I've noticed that there are a ton of different eyebrows which is very cool. The ones for these styles are rather on the natural side though. Let's figure something out. Dramatic art is very important. I'm getting really quiet so you know I'm concentrating. Something like this, I guess. Let's hopefully succeed with the other side. 
Whenever I think I'm okay with makeup, I have to draw on eyebrows or something and then all of my confidence drops into oblivion. Why do humans have to have eyebrows? I don't get it. I mean, I do, but I don't want to. Ugh. Okay, that's not that bad. Let's go over with eyeliner and make it a little more precise and clean. Okay, I'm not going to win a beauty contest with them, but I'm also not going to get killed because of them. They are there. I've done worse. And with that out of the way, we can do more fun things now. Like contouring in grey. Because we want to be our true dead self. Who needs a flesh color? We don't. We are above that. Because everyone knows how much fun it is to blend grey into your skin. And how it's definitely not looking like I'm just dirty. No, no. Oh well. I'm sure doing the eyes will change everything. We do have a lot of space up there now. Let's use it. As already said, we will do something in beautiful black and red. Here comes the black. I always love working with black eyeshadow. I love the way it gives your eye dimension. Blending it all out. Here's that one patch on my eyebrow that doesn't want to take the eyeshadow as good as the rest of the skin. Well, we'll have to live with it. Let's make some base for the red something to stick on to you know red and black will look fabulous but no color combination will ever own my heart like black and white does Ooh, pretty give me that punch of red come on that is indeed red but what would be a good red without its shimmer that's what i'm talking about it's what we deserve I love this shimmer so much, it's so pretty. Little more black. Because I mean, hello, we are committed. And I would say next up is eyeliner. Now I've been waiting for this one. Because when I think of gothic eyeliner, the first thing that comes to mind is this famous, infamous white inner corner triangle. I know it's not just a goth thing, but if I hear gothic makeup, I instantly think of this triangle. I love it, but I never tried it before. So, finally, I've waited for this all my life. So let's go. I think we all know this is going to be either go big or go home. So we are not going home today. This wing part is kind of boring. You know how a wing works. You've probably seen it plenty of times. So why don't we skip to the more interesting part? These wings are bigger than my hope in this existence. And I think that's great. Maybe we should do the white parts of the inner corner first and then outline it with this. Seems to be more proficient. Big triangle time. Hope that will work. Moment of truth. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, hear me out. I might just not be used to it, but I don't like it on myself. It does look cool, and I like what it does with my eyes. But on the same side, I'm like, hmm, I'm probably just not used to it. Yeah. You know the drill? Bottom lashes are a must. This time, longer. And they can look a bit messy. That's cool. We want to look mysterious and edgy, and we do have long bottom lashes for that. Drawing on bottom lashes honestly gives me more fun and joy than most other things in life. Okay, that sounded way <laughs> too edgy, my god. I just love what it does with your face, that's all. While we wait for the eyeliner to dry, let's put some highlights on my face. Because even the darkest, saddest soul needs some shimmer in their life. Light can't exist without darkness. Yes. Still my favorite highlighter of all time. Good, that should be dry now, so let's throw on some mascara real quick. You can't even see the bottom lashes, <laughs> but just for the sake of it. Ah! That did not happen, my god. Okay, okay, don't panic. It's gonna be fine. Honestly, so disrespectful. I am offended. Oh my god. Okay, let's bend it in. 
Uh, it's okay, I guess. It's all right. <sighs> Let's just distract ourselves with something different. You know we have to use more intense lashes for this look. Actually, I haven't worn them in a while, so I'm excited. Random talk while the glue is drying. <laughs> I've recently watched all the Dragula seasons before Titans got released, so I could be hyped and know everyone. And I still love this franchise so much. <laughs> it hyped me up for this video real good. That should be dry now. Ooh. I forgot how heavy these could feel. Ooh, as someone who doesn't wear lashes on a daily basis, yeah, I still feel them. They are there. They're in pretty. Another random topic while they're drying. A series I've also been obsessing for forever. I don't think it ever stopped, but Professor Layton. Oh, can we talk about the tragedy how everything ended? You can ask people around me whenever I meet just one person who knows Professor Layton. I'm so happy. My day is made. I love it. All the characters, I love them so much. Okay, should be dry. Okay, they're on. There are more punkier, edgier goth styles with more spiky lashes or more bigger ones, uh, ones that are like in every direction. But I mean, we're doing romantic us today. We're flirty. Love is in the air. So last up, makeup-wise, the lips. You didn't think I would do a goth makeup look without black lips, did you? It's not a need, it's a must. So let's line them. Why did I decide to line again? This liner is so shitty. <laughs> Definitely won't ever use that liner again. But we're not here for the liner, are we? We're here for this. As a very infamous poet once said, When I die, I want someone to bring my heart to NASA so they finally know what a real black hole looks like. Good old times. <laughs> and before we take care of the hair, maybe we should take care of accessories. Which means bye bye pretty flowers. I have a bunch of different necklaces and accessories here. We'll just see what fits best. We have two chokers. This one and this one. And even though I love this one to death, I mean, look at it. It's a little bad. It's so cute. I love it. But I also do think this one fits more into the aesthetic of romantic goth. So we'll go with this one. I'm sorry, cute little bad. Yeah, I mean, we could still... Oh, I think that's too much. I don't think this one really fits, so... Instead, maybe this one? Maybe a crystal? I don't know if that's too out of style. I think most of these belong in a different kind of goth subculture. Let's put on the main big boy first and then we can look after the small things again. Because this... This is the important thing. Good that I'm just one person trying to put this on now. I'm sure it will work. Last time I wore this, I went to the cinema with my partner. It was very nice. Okay, so there must be a way how I can do this alone. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I did it. I actually love wearing corsets. Just the feel... Ooh, okay. <laughs> Just the feeling and stability it gives your body. Back to the smaller stuff. I mean, it is a pretty thing. I mean, you can't even see it, so why not? And this little bed. I need that. It's my little friend. I call him Hubert. Hubert the bad. He's such a good little buddy. I love him. Hubert is the best. Pretty flowy things for my hands. I mean, that is powerful right there. Therefore, now the last thing missing is the hair. My hair at the time wouldn't be that fitting. So it's time for a wig again. Only problem, I don't have a fitting wig for this. Wait, let me show you. I either have this short one, but I don't know if short is really in the aesthetic. Most pictures I've seen, people had long hair. And I do have a long black wig, but this wig, I'm gonna be real with you, it's just ugly. It's so cheap, it's not good, but we have no other choice, so let's use it. I only used this wig once before and I hated it the whole time I was wearing it, so here we go. Oh wait, I forgot to 
take off the ears. I was wondering why I couldn't just put it on. Smart. Sometimes my brain works in mysterious ways. I mean, I still hate it. <laughs> do I look like I belong to the romantic goth genre? Mm. I don't know, I hope so. But do I look like people would approach me on the streets and would try to convey me to Jesus? Absolutely. And that's all I needed. Look at these roses I dried. <laughs> So what do you think? I personally love it. This definitely quenched my thirst for being a goth, at least for today. There's just such comfort in the darker elements. Hard to explain. I mean, why do you like something, right? The whole aesthetic is just, I love it. <laughs> so this was a success. Very happy I did it. The inner corner thing, mm, still not used to it, but it's way better than I initially thought. This is just something so rewarding and looking like a vampire. Even though in real life, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be all goth. They would be way too telling. Maybe they they want us to think that so that we don't suspect them and that's because we don't suspect them because we think so. Maybe even I'm a vampire, who knows? But what we know is that that is it for today's chapter. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of me. I also have other socials so say hello there. I wish you a wonderful day or night depending on where you live and see you next chapter. Bye!